Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check new kit from IBG models. As usual you can find direct link for the review in the video description below. And now we can check this plastic model. As you can see this is a 70 second scale tank uh, which copies type 89 Japanese medium tank coal. So it's gasoline version, it's late type. And here we have this nice box art. By the way note this small picture that two figurines are included. So you can use them both as it's shown here or maybe you can use only the tank man inside the turret or maybe tank man beside the tank as it's shown here. As you can see box is not that big here, you can see comparison with my hand size. Um, on the side there is just some information about uh, the kit that is not suitable for small children and here a short history note about Rio tank. This is a top opening box and inside we find sprues. I don't know why they are packed into the separate into two plastic bags. So let's check the first one. Both bags are sealed, so you will have to use scissors, otherwise just tear them in order to open them. Just give me a second. I have here first two sprues, which carry external elements. Here, for example, we have First plastic frame, which is dedicated to the turret parts. As you can see, this tank had asymmetrical turret. And here we have top segment, here we have lower segment, separate um, hatch parts. And also inside, you can see attachment points. I will zoom camera so that you can see them closer. So, attachment points are done in such a way so that it would be easier to separate them and do it without damaging part. Now let's zoom out, okay. Next plastic sprue is dedicated to the sponsons. Here you can see them too. Also, I think that's the frontal glacis plate and some track parts. As you can see, they're molded as a one piece plastic parts, so they should be easy to weather and to paint. At least they're not final parts. Next we have another plastic bag with more sprues. So give me a second to open it. Okay, so first one here out of this bag is dedicated to the whole part. As you can see it's molded as a one piece part and it looks quite nice I would say. As you can see engine meshes are pre-molded but there should be one P thread in the kit so we'll see if it features any elements for this area of the tank. Here we have some external parts molded on the small sprue. Next we have two absolutely identical plastic frames, here you can see them. These are dedicated to suspension parts, so here we have a lot of bogies. Here we have also track parts, plastic track parts. Drive sprocket should be assembled out of several parts and here are suspension elements. Holding quality again is quite nice, but you have to be careful while separating those. And here we have last plastic sprue with parts for the tank. As you can see here we have lower hole plate and also some external elements here, minor uh, pioneer tools and some towing cables, everything is molded here. Next we have two small plastic frames which are dedicated to tiny figurines, don't forget that this is a 70 second scale model kit. Nevertheless, there are two figurines included, which can be considered as a nice bonus. Here you can see them. So, let's zoom camera so that you can check them closer. And here is another one. As you can see, the one which should be positioned in tanks turret is separated into several parts, so it would be easier to place it inside the model. Next we have PE thread packed together with decals sheet. Decals are printed by TechMod, so you don't have to worry about the quality, it should be easy to work with them. Just give me a second to open the plastic bag. Okay, so here are decals, I will zoom camera for you. Here they are, and here we have small PE thread 
you know the um, engine mesh is included and also some external elements of course all parts are unpainted so you will be able to cover them with necessary shade next we have assembly manual this one is typical for this manufacturer so we have it printed in color as you can see here we have paints chart and next to the parts map and assembly process starts with school so in total we will have to perform 16 steps actually 17 steps and then you will have ready model ready for the painting I would say and on the last page we can see one of the marking options which can be applied to this model why one of the marking options because on the box art I see I think that's a bit different or actually no it's the same marking option so only one marking option is featured here so you have to use it just give me a second I will flip over so that you can see it so that's all for this video review I hope you enjoyed it and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion in the comment section below would you build this tank or maybe you would prefer something else and explain why it will be interesting to hear you and of course like this video subscribe to our youtube channel and share it with your friends so that they know about this nice kit thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video as usual bye